Good day. Welcome to Mortinet Design. In this tutorial, we are going to work on elevation in terms of modification. And I call it last aesthetics. It's last aesthetic because after this elevation modification, I'm going to move to sites and duplicate this entire project into various housing estates. So that's why if you have never been able to know how to use a wall uh, inserts to use Revit link and modify them and make it a simple simple file design. The next tutorial is for you. So let's move on to what we want to do. So here is two plane. So for an architectural design, you don't allow your part of the elevation to just be a play references like this so you need to add value and create some uh, aesthetic evaluation so that whenever clients see or whoever sits they will see the beauty and sense that okay that is signature on certain things you have designed here so that's what we want to do so go to the floor plan uh, the floor plan what you need to create is first is to create a component at the company model in place model in place is this casement work so you can name it whatever you want to name it. that one will do with this see so extrusion extrusion here creating something effective on this side good so I like that to your taste and give it a definite value which is like 70 so you copy this onto two layer. Good. So for you, you click on that. You go to elevation 3D. Then from there you stretch it off. Up. So go for the stretch. And stretch it down and here. You can actually do this one on the any part of the weather west or east. So you put it there. In that man so this one gives you follow of the different category so from there you can change the material to something that suits you so i want to change it to something of a yellow or orange color so here i'm duplicating this material for it so use the rendering appearance and taking this away so i'm going to use uh, this, uh appearance library so i'm changing to to play a war, so I'm using glossy, so light chocolate, such as something that is more relevant. I'm not using light chocolate here now. Let me use check here. Here I'm going to see what I want to use. So what I'm choosing is not here. So where are you? Where are we do? Let me use physical appearance. So wall paints grass and matches so they are not there as well. So what I'm still going to use is uh, I will still come back to gloss so light chocolate dark green so check them if okay orange red let me just use yellow yellow will pay me so I can decide to change it a bit okay so i'm using this update so this is your way of doing what you need to do most so the next one i want to do is that my walkway i don't want the way so i'm creating another thing on the walkway by pick this Yeah, so from here now, which is another distance, let's say one meter. Offsets, use offsets to do that which you did to do quick. One, one thousand, so take it in and take it out. So, delete this one. 
trim this and join all together okay. I like this so you finish it and set of what you need to set up so this is your work here. you can change the materials before you finish it up duplicate and give to this space say terrace go to search work and choose the script to it's okay for that so you can look at it from 3d and you see that your work is set then you change the height from here to 50 so let it be flat good so you walk to this and walk to this pattern so this is what how you work the work will look like and choose another material you can decide to change more material the way you want depends on your own creative thinking so this is a tutorial and this is what you must understand the tutorial is a definite aspect of design being done by creative of individual at the moment so this design was done sometimes and you see that it's taking different shape only that the form are relevant so that is the way design work so the way you design today you more probably do the same design tomorrow so when you bring all these things around they create the value that you want for the project so i've done with this now what i need to do is to create some uh, a lighting value around the space so you go to this search for whether you can have this thing you need to have like components so scroll down and sheet light is here you can bring the seat light into this position and we look at it from the 3d this the street lights and you change the format it is possible for you to change the format or rotate what is this so that you have get a different way so look at it here. so this is it so you have it in a four segment way so now this is done for you you go to the foundation you see it to have some of the power activities into it copy here and paste it here so from among this flower that I have, I want to change one special among them. So I'm going to let it have something of a palm. Something of palm nature. So click here, say edit, duplicate it. There's no matter, you may not decide to change. Say change the height to something like 1000. 1400 so here now you change the appearance so come to the stroke and still to tropical and the tropical look at this windy palm almost all of it out this except you want to use another external file in a few ray in a five day range or things like that after the whole production of revit design but since you are doing it here, these are the things that is more relevant in your So you click on it. So shift it outside, not move in closer. So when you go to 3D, you are going to see what you have done here. So this is it. You have the appearance. It is technically different from the existing one. So this one's now. And go and create flower fast around this particular work so that to give you a little bit of good look. So copy this and put it here, paste another one here and paste another one here. So it's not finished, you can select this because I want another different flower to be seen there. So edit and I'm duplicating it. So duplicate it and save from here, do not duplicate edit there, just select that. And what I'm using you is using this, uh, what is it, this particular switch grass. So, and what I'm going to put there, so click here and let it have their space. So, from this one, I'm copy to more. Now, you know, I remember I told you never in any way mirror appearance of words of grass. Example, let me show you the example of this particular one. 
can I look at it from 3D here now? You see everything is in, is in place intact, but the reason is that they jump up because of the elevation. So select all instance in this position, then you change this one to zero. You're going to crash the ground. Yes, they stay where they're supposed to stay, isn't it? So now what I'm saying is if you copy this one, I want to mirror this one, you see that it's not going to be appear here. The same thing if you render it, it never show. So don't try to so let's say mirror. You know there are two here yeah, now. So when you take that mirror and go and see from 3D, it is up. It shows, see, it disappears. So unless you take cursor on it and you see it, but it's not going to be visible. If you render it, it's not going to be visible as well. So you don't do mirror. So you already do what? Copy, copy everything you want to copy. So that's what I want you to understand in this area as you are designing the project all and all. So copy like that, copy and copy and copy. So now you have this, I want to do something here, edit. So copy this, sorry, edit, select this and say copy, just press one, that will be on the spot, escape and say edit. Edit the extrusion now, you offset, offset it to 100. So without, uh, without copy, it's set to 100 without copy. It fits in all of them. Offset to 100 without copy. So now to do that, we give this one to something like a taxi. And see, finish. From here, now you change this to, you change the material, here to duplicate the material. And you give it another material entirely. And so I'm using this for to so click finish and you click here. So click finish here as well. And you go back to 3D and see what you've done. So this is the this is exactly what you have created here to bring a significant aspect to this. So all is done based on what I started for So now I don't want this word thing. What am I going to do to it? It's only about developing objects and something. If you have a word decay. Deca. So I'm going to use Deca to create a frame on this wall. So I'm going to um, so go to west. It's going to be south, I think. Okay. So we not. So at this point, I'm going to use Deca to place diagram on it. So here I'm going to use insert. At the insert level, I'm going to create Deca. So I'm saying place the car. I play the car, create new one, new the car, fine. So search for that thing you want to put in there. So as you have it here now, you can now look for anywhere you see images that fit in what you want to do. So here you go to thumbnail and let it be more bigger so that you'll be able to see. Among these are the Reference of every image that have been there before. Um, all things are here for you to use. Sorry for bringing some of this my picture to assistant from this place. It's part of learning the process. So I'm going to use LP um, this. So this one will serve because it's going to be the references. So I'm using this one as a point for you to understand so click here and drop it on the wall press escape now you can resize it and increase it to your taste and to your so do that and set it stand so as you do that now you can go to 3d and go and see what you brought into space this is it so the deca I have issue with the with this particular one. So what you need to do, I did the profile will not solve the issue. Just leave it man manner and switch it up. Let it remain standard to 
where you, you brought the host. So this is the picture of the this exact house that we've been using. And that is how we create it on that space. So that's for that that space will not be so empty and look somehow infallible. So as we have done this one now, so what you need next is that to create value around this point. So how do you do that? Go to and click on component model in place. So click cement work model in two and you select by creating create extrusion around this space. Just use plain surfaces. Yes. So this one will set it up for you. So you are going to create this. Take it down. Good. So you have set as well. So you use the same hundred. No, going to set. You say you just copy this time around and you put it around, put it around the following like that. Let it be bigger. So click finish. The extrusion aspect is there, which is 25. So here yeah, it stands. So you create the same thing, create similar, and say okay. At this point, now what you need to do is to create extrusion. Select this and draw from here to down. So this one, then you move this somewhere up. Good. So you click finish, align this to this point, check it here. Good, good, good. So now it's you use this one to 100 so you change this value as it may be duplicate so you go to appearance and uh, defaults do not use default just use um, go to the work and then take any of the dark side then yeah, make sure you make lighting it. So that starts. So you have this and you have that in place. So that is it. So this gives you different in entirely. You can decide to change it and change it again to okay. Let me use uh, appearance. Yes. So I'm going to click here. I'm using siding. So siding will allow me. I'm using one of these clipboard. I'm using clapboard to do what I want to do here. So please this. Good. So if you are rendering this, you see. So this pattern is what is going to be there. So that is the beauty. So you click finish now. So with this the elevation is not empty so test your camera whether it gives you what you want in that aspect so click here and say to read the camera then you select snap to so go up to this place and increase it to 600 and you the same thing here 600 so expand it and see how far so if you are pleased with the elevation it's okay by so you check it in realistic see how far the building looks to you good so this is the elevation for a simple nature of design so it's more of a developing level you can create your floor, create whatever you want to create because I'm not putting the normal flash of here because I'm taking it to somewhere else to go and modify. So that is the beauty of what you have done here. Kindly like, subscribe and if you have any question, make sure that you indicate telling us what you your encounter about this project. So we'll stop for now. In the next tutorial, we move to the last part which is what? 
put in it into the estate, layout, and every other thing.